Ryan Garcia taking on Javier Fortuna, Crypto.com. You know, at a Staples Center back in your day, you've been there, you've seen Oscar fight. It, legendary fights have happened there. What do you expect to see from Ryan on Saturday? Oh, I, I expect Ryan to come um, ready, of course, mentally, which is more important. And then physically, everything follows. And, and that's one thing about boxing. Um, you must have this right, then everything else follows that. It has to be a lead somewhere. And if it's, just being, if it's just being in shape and being that way, that's good. But the mental controls everything. And Ryan right now, based on what he understands this moment, getting over, as we heard many, many times, and I know he doesn't want to hear it again, even though he's going to be asked, are you mentally, are you physically, are you ready to go forward? Yes, he is. Y'all will see it Saturday. Um, I can talk for him, but I can't fight for him. And that is important that he be able to show now, come this Saturday, that he's ready for anybody. When I say anybody, anybody in that division going forward, fast approaching 2023, but it can happen in 2022. The Hall of Famer, Bernard Hopkins. We'll see you Saturday at Crypto.com Arena. Another big round of applause. First time we see the Hall of Famer, B-Hop. Make sure you, the media, go out there and take a picture of Oscar's statue, which is pretty cool. I mean, before we get to the fight, Oscar. Oh, is it still there? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> What's that like, though, when you drive by and you're like, hey, that's me? Um, yeah, no, it feels pretty cool. It yeah. feels pretty cool being uh, amongst the greats, you know, but uh, being born in uh, East L.A., growing up in L.A., um, I, I uh, yeah, I feel very, very proud of, of having a statue. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's great because in any event where people go and kids go and they look up to it and they see it, they take pictures, it's, it's an inspiration, you know? And so I, the way I see it is like, okay, let, let me inspire generations to come just with that statue so it's it's pretty cool yeah, it's not not too far from east la where you grew up and you know you fought there but to also now promote this car to put ryan garcia on there to put kids from southern california on there i know that means a lot to you doesn't it no it does and um you know when i started golden boy promotions um it was all about giving opportunities and boxing has been my life boxing has been uh, everything to me so I'm, I'm really glad that I can give these opportunities to, uh, to, to young champions, to future champions, to superstars, to, um, to anyone who has a dream, basically, you know? And so this platform, uh, Golden Boy, boxing, um, it's, it's one to take advantage of. Let's, you know, it's like we open up the doors and it's up to the fighters to take advantage of it. So, you know, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of... Uh, a lot of dedication, a lot of discipline, but the doors are wide open here at Golden Boy. Uh, you know, our platform is wide open for everybody. Your uh, staff does a great job putting on fights all over the country. Earlier this year, Ryan Garcia in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome brought a big crowd. Yeah. But to do it in L.A., what does that say about Ryan's star power? Well, this is, this is the, uh, the coming out party for Ryan Garcia. Um, and, and what a perfect opponent that he's facing, uh, two-time world champion. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be a, a difficult fight for both guys. Um, you, can't, you can't count out, um, you can't count out uh, the, the experience that his opponent has. Fortuna is coming in with everything. He has the, um, he has the tools to, uh, to offset a young Ryan Garcia. So I, I strongly feel, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's sink or swim for both guys. And obviously we know that, uh, that the fans are in for a treat. Okay. They're uh, excited, they're, they're ready to go, and uh, you know, we're gonna have a great crowd on Saturday night. But well, Ryan's also got that attitude of, I'm putting on a show, I'm coming for the knockout. He's yeah. been saying that over and over and over. Yeah, no, he's gonna put on a show, and uh, who knows what he's gonna do, but he has the skill, he has the mindset, He's, uh, he's strong up here, he knows what he has to do, and uh, when he says uh, he's gonna put on a show, I, I believe him. I don't know what the hell he's gonna do, but I strongly feel that he's gonna put on a show and it's gonna be very, very impressive. So uh, the WBA 
just ordered um, just ordered Surdo versus Bivol, uh, the guy who beat uh, Canelo. So we're uh, we're super excited to start negotiations. Um, look, um, Bivol doesn't have a promoter, so we're going to be dealing with uh, with his manager. It's going to be exciting. I think uh, I think Surdo Ramirez. Uh, deserves the shot. He's been waiting for a long time. He, uh, he fought in two final eliminators. So now he's next in line for that world title. And uh, hey, he can, uh, he can get revenge. Revenge for Mexico, revenge for Canelo. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity that Surdo Ramirez has been waiting for and he's going to take full advantage of it. And what about Possibly tanking Ryan towards the end of the year. Absolutely, why not? I mean, look, first thing is first. Yep. Like I said, uh, uh, Fortuna's a very dangerous, dangerous opponent. Two-time world champion. But Ryan Garcia wants Gervonta Davis. And as his promoter, I'm going to get him what he wants. I'm going to make that fight happen. It's not going to be easy because we know that on the other side of the street, uh, there's Al Heyman who always wants to uh, break up fights and not and, and keep the fighters amongst his stable only. So it's going to be a little difficult, but if Tank Davis really wants this fight, and I know he does because he's a special fighter. Tank Davis is a special fighter, and so is Ryan Garcia. When you have two fighters like that who really want to fight each other, it has to be made. Fortuna with a record of 37, 3 and 1, 26 KOs. How you doing? Good, good, good. There you go. And now up to the stage, undefeated lightweight sensation, originally from Victorville, California, the one and only Ryan Garcia. Twenty-two and 0, 19 KOs for Ryan Garcia. All right, Ryan, we just keep going with you. Got to ask the. Wow, that change is nice. <laughs> just got me right there with that one. Camp with Joe Goose, and this time you guys decided to do it in the Valley. How was that? It was good. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Excited. There it is. Love the long word answers. Appreciate that, man. It means I got to ask better questions right there. Abejon, I'm going to ask you the questions in Spanish, and then uh, Jaime Mota will translate for you. ¿Cómo te sientes? How do you feel? Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias a Dios. Gracias a todo el público. Lo veo aquí presente. Me siento muy agradecido por todo, por la Golden Ball, por la San, por mi compañía de Samsung Loco, y todo el equipo. Me siento súper bien agradecido. I feel very good. Thank you, everyone, for having me here. You know, for Golden Boy, everybody that's come out, uh, Samson Lykowicz, and I'm happy to be here. Yo, Ryan, yesterday at the media workout, you were, had great energy. You were there with the media. You were here talking about them. And you said you're going to knock him out. You said this fight isn't going to last. Why do you have that confidence? Um, you know what? I'm just determined to do something amazing. Entertain, entertain the fans. Give them a good show. You know, so I'll be looking to do something amazing in the ring. Uh, he, he wants to knock me out as well. So... Uh, we're coming in, we're going to throw our punches, and we're going to give the fans a great fight. So I think that's what I'm focused on. Yesterday, I was just, uh, you, know, you know what I mean? I had a lot of adrenaline, but now I'm focused. I'm just locked in, ready to do my job. I'm done talking, just ready to fight. There it is. A few tickets available at AXS.com, at Crypto.com Arena, Saturday night. It starts at 5 o'clock on the zone. Yesterday, you said that you can't leave it up to the judges, that you need a knockout. Why are you confident that you can knock him out? Yes, you said that you can't leave it with the judges, that you think that you need a knockout. Why do you have that confidence? Oh, ya van, te pueden ver mi carrera, ya van dos peleas que pasa lo mismo y no quiero hacer, dejar nada en manos de los jueces. Ese día se va a pelear. Yo lo mato a él, el hombre mata a mí. Jaime? Obviously, there's been a couple of times in my career where that's happened. I left it up to the judges. It wasn't a good thing. And now, you know, it's either he kills me or I kill him. And Ryan, the support that you have from the Southern California community, the boxing community, it's huge. I heard you on a radio interview the other day saying how you have some big names coming. You, know, you have the fans outside of boxing. How does that happen for you? It's just who I am and it's who the people I bring, the good energy I bring. Uh, to try to speak truth into the world. So a lot of respectful athletes, 
celebrities. They uh, respect that and they want to come to the fight. That's all I can say to that. But, uh, you know, people respect when people are good at what they do. That goes my Perrier. But uh, I love Perrier. Shout out Perrier. Uh, I actually like his hat too. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. You know what I mean? It's pretty sick. Like your hat, man. You want it? He's gonna give it to you. Que es fan de los Bulls y le gusta tu gorra. I guess you guys want to kill each other, and now you're giving each other gifts. Hey, primero se quieren matar. We know what to do. Eso a ti no te no te no te garantiza que el sábado te va a romper tu cara y tu cabeza. That the, but this doesn't guarantee on Saturday night I'm not going to, you know, take your head off. Thank you. One more, one more time, Jaime, that translation. He, he said, you know, this doesn't guarantee me giving you the cap that on Saturday night I'm not going to take your head off. 100%. Uh, we know what we do in the ring. Uh, I'm coming to fuck him up, too. So I, I, don't, I don't care if he gives me a hat or not. He's gonna, I'm going to go and whoop his ass. That's it. Eso también va, va para ti también, Abejón. Dice que el sábado por la noche eh, el intercambiar en gorra no significa nada, que él también viene por ti y que también te va a degollar. Muy bien, espero que no tenga ninguna excusa. That's a good thing. I don't want any excuses. There it is, the I main like event, that. Saturday night on the zone. Let's get a face off right here, Ryan. Abejón, ahí deja. Put the microphone down, Ryan. The zone.com. First one, then we'll put the hats back on. Hold on, hold on, we'll get the hats back on. We get the official one. Saturday on the zone, five o'clock. There it is, check him out. All right, now with the hats, here we go. Hold on, see, ponte la gorra. Come on, Tom Hogan's gotta get the good picture right there, right? There it is, at exchange, we're still gonna knock each other out. 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time on the zone crypto.com arena. Abejon, Javier Fortuna, Ryan Garcia. Check that out Saturday night. The boogeyman I'm slayer. Right, I'm slayer. Boogeyman. The boogeyman. I slay the boogeyman. I'm scared of the boogeyman. Man, man. I never been scared of the never. boogeyman. As a kid, I've never. never been scared. Never. I'm a dog. Never. Yeah, let's get it. Never. I'm the boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman slayer. I slay the boogeyman. I'm scared of the boogeyman. There it is. Saturday night, live on the zone. Ryan Garcia, 22 and 0, 19 KOs. Javier Fortuna. 37, 3 and 1, 26 KOs of himself. Broadcast gets going at 1.30 in the afternoon. Dominican Republic, Victorville, California. All right, there we go, there we go. There it is, we'll see him Saturday. Way in tomorrow, press conference today. Abejón, 